Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. This one is to show you some Easter cards that I made. And I actually made these last year or the year before. I can't remember exactly when. But it's a silhouette file that I had bought and then um, I had cut them all out. They're really tricky to cut out because of the intricate work here. But I also had the silhouette write out the happy Easter part and um, I'm actually thinking about getting that carbon blade that everybody's been raving about um, to try to cut things they say that if you buy the carbon blade instead of the regular silhouette blade that it comes out much smoother um, you don't get as much wasted paper like it cutting through and stuff like that like it's much easier to use that blade <clears throat> so I'm seriously considering buying it it's just that it's tricky because you have to know like where to put the blade itself to cut certain things it's not like you don't have the dial on the silhouette um, where it'll take the blade and move it up or down like you yourself physically have to move the the blade pin so that's why I've been so hesitant about it so anyway I cut these out last year and I just filled them in this year but um, I had put this yellow backing to it so that way um, it would have something and then I used the eye tool I think that's what this thing is called the eye tool um, to put the rhinestones on here and you know they come with this thingamajiggy and um, I put them different sizes here just to give it like a little bit of more interest and they do have the rhinestones in different colors and I actually do have them but I thought that it would look cuter just with white so that's why I did that so <clears throat> then what I did inside this year because this year I'm actually going to mail them out um, is I took two stamps I don't have a stamp that says happy Easter so I have this one hero arts happy birthday one um, it says what does it say um, clear design happiness is what it says and here you can't even see it but this says happy birthday and this is to show you how much I use it that the stamp itself isn't clear anymore it's black and I think that's because I've used um, oh my gosh I forgot what ink I used on it and then I used the stays on remover to take it off I don't know but it turned black and I have cleaned it a billion times and it does not come any cleaner like I can't get it to clean off so I used the happy because I cut it had cut it apart from before because this is my go-to happy birthday so this is the happy I cut it apart and then I put the Easter these are these little tiny stamps and I want to say that I got these at um, cherry blossom I think it's a store like up in Fort Lauderdale or something like that it's like an hour and something away from me and I got a whole mess of these they have they had like so many of these these are we are memory keepers and it's hippity hoppity Easter and I got that one I got this one I had like all of them basically because they were $1.29 and this one was 99 cents I don't know but anyway I went ahead and I did the Easter so <coughs> Since the writing was in purple, I went ahead and I inked it with Happy Easter and then I put Love, Mercy, Benny, Roman, and Enzo. And then inside of it, I am going to put the boys' picture because at school they took spring pictures. So let me... Obviously, this is not the one that's going to go in there, but those are the boys for Easter. They took their spring picture. They came out so handsome. So I'm going to put the little wallet sizes in here. Um, and the package that they gave us at the school was very odd because they gave you the normal 1 8 by 10 and they gave us two 5 by 7s. And they gave us one sheet of wallets, of 16 wallets. But then it came with four wall clings, removable wall clings. Like, where am I going to put those? And then it came with a mouse pad. Like, okay, um, sure. 
I really don't need a mouse pad. What I needed was either more 5x7s or a 3.5x4. Um, so what I did is I used my Epson, my big huge mama printer, and I used the Epson to make 3.5x4s. And I made, I can't even remember, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I made 8 of them so that way we can give them to all of their uncles and aunts. And then I made more wallets to put in there for their cousins. So that's what I ended up having to make because that package was $40 and then you couldn't like add to it like okay I need another sheet of wallets and I need you know X amount of sheets of three and a half by fours it was just odd very strange so anyway I went ahead and I just printed my own and then when I do I have my um, I'm setting up now because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually address them all and then the reason why I had brought this other stamp out is that I'm planning on stamping on the outside of the envelope you know the little Easter eggs and then on the back I'll print I'll go ahead and stamp the basket or something so that is the plan on what I'm going to do today today is a very busy day I'm gonna get lots of projects done today um, since today is Sunday so anyway I will return with another video um, so please make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment I love reading comments thank you so much for watching thanks bye